away jerseys for Super Rugby 2019. Uh, the away jerseys can be a bit interesting at times because the the teams, not all of them, but some of them tend to take a bit more of a risk with um, with their designs. They're not kind of bound to be within their, their traditions of their color schemes. Uh, some of them keep it pretty safe, but some of them go pretty out there. So I've ranked uh, the 15 teams based on their away jerseys for, for 2019. I've already done a, the home jerseys in a separate video. So we'll have a look at these. As always, there's no, there's no expertise here. I'm not a designer. I literally just looked at the 15 jerseys and gave them a number based on my preference. Um, there is a little bit of reason to it, but again, it's all just personal preference. So you guys can let me know your thoughts as, as to which ones, um, you prefer at the end, but we will start at number 15 and number 15, uh, it's the Highlanders. And I'm pretty sure this is the second year running because the New Zealand jerseys haven't changed from 2018 to 2019. They're on a two year cycle, uh, that Highlanders jersey and the picture does not do it justice. That is a bright, bright green. I've seen it in store. I've seen it on the field. It's, um, yeah, it makes your eyes water, that that, that jersey. It's uh, it's pretty bad. So um, there are a few people out there that love it, but for the most part, this should be really limited to like high visibility, maybe workplace or road cycle wear or something. I don't know, but preferably not on my, my screen while I'm watching rugby. Uh, 14... I've gone with the Waratahs away jersey uh, for number 14. There's nothing that much. Well, I just think it's a bit ugly. I mean, the Waratahs home jersey is kind of just a plain light blue. This is just kind of a white with hoops. But interestingly, there's no hoops on the back. It's just a plain white back apart from the sponsor's logo. So there's a little bit of like the, the impression of the flowers on the hoops. But... I don't know if you can call them hoops if they're only half hoops. Uh, either way, that jersey doesn't do a lot for me. Uh, the Waratahs actually haven't worn it very much from memory. I believe I've only seen it once, maybe twice, I think once. Uh, it seems like different teams are kind of more obliged to wear their away jerseys more often, perhaps due to sponsorship things. Like the Hurricanes frequently wear their away jersey at home, but the Tars don't seem to wear theirs very often, so not a bad thing in my opinion. I don't think they wore their away jersey at all last season. Anyway, uh, next I have gone with at 13, the Sharks. Now, generally, I do like the Sharks gear. Um, their gear is generally always pretty slick. And I don't mind the design of this jersey. Again, if I'm looking at the upper part of it, it does look pretty tidy. And then there's just the, 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 the muscle pattern that really doesn't do it for me like if i'm buying one of the south african marvel jerseys sure put the put the muscles on the jersey but if it's just a regular jersey i don't want any muscles on there so that's just a personal thing um yeah the muscles don't do it for me it's pretty much the main reason that jersey drops it's very similar to their jersey last season their away jersey which was also white uh, but they went for, I think, more Durban skyline or historic buildings rather than muscles. Uh, next, and it's another white one. It's the Crusaders away jersey. A lot of teams for their away jersey seem to do white. I'm not sure why. I mean, you could say it's a little bit boring, but I'm not sure if one color can be more interesting or boring than another because they're all just colors. But uh, I quite like the Crusaders home jersey. The away jersey is just a white jersey with a little bit of a, I don't know, schmutz on it. Yeah, it just doesn't, I just think it's a bit boring for me. Um, they could have done more. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'm missing something in terms of what the design is supposed to be. But yeah, I mean, the Crusaders are a top team. They deserve a better jersey than that one, in, in my opinion. They do get it with their home jersey, and thankfully... Uh, with their current position on the table, if they're playing in a playoff game, they're going to be at home. So we'll be seeing them in that glorious red. Uh, speaking of the reds, uh, the next jersey is for the Crusaders. Uh, I already said Crusaders is for the reds. Uh, sorry, I'm flipping through my phone here to go through the images. The reds uh, away jersey. 
they've kept kind of the the red style at the top and then the rest of it has gone white it reminds me a fair bit of the home jersey for the lions this season and i didn't think a whole lot of that either um again if it's it's just carrying on that white theme uh you've got highlanders with the green which i would probably have preferred them go white to be fair and then waratahs white sharks white crusaders white and then reds white so yeah doesn't do a whole heck of a lot for me does the the reds jersey i mean the the top part of it i think looks all right but overall the jersey's just a bit well uh, okay it's fine uh i don't hugely dislike it but it's just a bit nothing uh the next one and you look at that on screen and you think that looks a bit busy and it looks a bit as a bit horrible does that chiefs jersey but um this is one of the ones that looks better on the field. Like when I first saw this, saw this jersey released, Joyzy, uh, when I first saw this jersey released uh, in the media shots, just like these still images like this, I couldn't believe that they'd gone for something like this. But then when you see it on the field, it actually looks pretty decent. So um, I was a bit harsh on their home jersey as well. So I've not ranked either of the Chiefs jerseys that highly uh, for this season, but um, it's okay. It's white again, but it's got a, it's got a green pattern on it. Um, but yeah, I definitely think it looks better on the field. Uh, next is my blues. Now I ranked the blues fifteenth for the home jerseys, mainly for the big NIB, which I didn't think goes that well with the jersey. I still don't like the big green NIB blob on this blues jersey. I would much rather them somehow blend it in, like virtually all the other sponsors tend to do. Uh, but yeah. I, Dark blue works more for the blues for me. Uh, I feel like that's more of their traditional color. I'm not sure if that should be a factor because whatever color they choose to wear is what color they choose to wear. But I do like this uh, a bit more than their home jersey. But the NIB. I know they give the blues money, but it's a big blob of green in the middle of a beautiful blue jersey. Uh, next, I've got the Hurricanes away jersey. As I said, they do the they do wear this quite a lot uh, at home, which kind of grinds my gears because I get a little bit traditional and think, you know, if you're at home, you should be playing at home. If you're playing away and you don't have a jersey clash, then just wear your home jersey. But when there's a jersey clash, then you should switch. But I get the fact that they have to wear the away jersey a certain number of times because uh, if you look at the Hurricanes... Um, the away jersey it's got a different sponsor on it from the home jersey i think it's national storage on the home jersey so i guess e equally they've paid money to get their their thing on the jersey and it needs to be worn x number of times so yeah i know a lot of hurricanes fans don't like the it's kind of a fluory green i guess this the swishy hurricane pattern that does rub some people up the wrong way as well um i don't mind it perhaps and this may become a bit of a theme is that uh the fact that it's a dark or a black jersey hey man all blacks fan uh just seems to have slightly more natural appeal uh, for me speaking of a black jersey uh the sun wolves and i'm definitely aware of the fact that this one will probably date pretty horrendously like when you look back at some of the jerseys from the 90s and 2000s from super rugby they do look pretty bad um not all of them some of them are still kind of classics they 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 can go retro and still look good whereas some of them uh yeah don't look good at all and it's the ones that usually have more going on that don't look that good like i think this sunwolves jersey it's just pretty much plain white even though i've given white a bit of grief um you know i don't think it'll be that bad in all those years but uh this sunwolves jersey with the with the big w's front and back it may date pretty bad i've seen them wearing it i think again it looks better in person than it does uh in these stock images but yeah i like both the summer's jerseys what can i say uh next i've gone with the rebels jersey it is very similar to their their old home jersey it's the hoops and i confess it may be a little bit of auckland bias here not so much blues but auckland and the the Mitre 10 Cup or the NPC or whatever you want to call it, our provincial competition, which is essentially blue, dark blue and white hoops. This has got a bit of red in there as well. So I may be slightly partial uh, to a team 
in that kind of color scheme. Uh, I just think this jersey, I don't know, it, it does it for me more than it does um, that Rebels home jersey, which is essentially just a big block of dark blue. Um, but then again, maybe in 10 years you look at that Rebels jersey and still think it looks okay. The home one and then this away one with the hoops with a slight pattern on them may look a bit silly. I don't know, but I think this one looks uh, pretty slick and um, I certainly wouldn't mind owning one. Next, and again, this one in terms of the dating factor, this one I feel like without a doubt will look really terrible in 10 years, but um, I saw the Bulls play in it very recently. Uh, I've seen them play in it a couple of times this season and I do think it looks good, uh, even though it's green. Green is kind of a hard color to get right, but the Bulls seem to have done it pretty well here with uh, the Puma, uh, Puma, um, you know, manufacturers. So it seems strange for, for that kind of blue logo to go on a, on a green background, but I still think it can work. I still think it does work. It's got red on it with the sponsor. It's got blue on it with the, uh, the team logo. It's got green on it. It's got white on it, but I still like it. This is why it's all personal opinion rather than any actual you know, training or knowledge. Uh, anyway, we're getting to the top end. I've got the Brumbies. Uh, the Brumbies home kit is kind of their, their traditional design that doesn't change a heck of a lot. Uh, their away kit this time is a dark blue one with some kind of stripy bits on it. The, the sponsor blends in pretty well. NIB, take note there. It can blend in pretty well. Uh, O'Neill's, since I have got a Brumbies jersey after making the first video, O'Neill's make very nice kits. They do feel very good when you wear them. Top quality stuff, so I'm sure this one feels pretty good as well. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty simple. Um, maybe the striper bits will date, but yeah, for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that jersey. Uh, getting right towards the top now, number three, Stormers away jersey now it's traditionally the stormers haven't been very good uh winning away like in 2018 they didn't win a single away game and that included a game against the sun wolves so i'm not sure how many people buy stormers away jerseys but they have won away this year so maybe they'll sell a few more of them uh it's a lot of black um so that again may be a bit of a theme it's got a bit of Instead of hoops, which they, they do on their Western Province jerseys from memory, um, it's got a bit of yellow swish. It matches the DHL, which is a big imposing sponsor. So maybe that's part of the reason that I don't think it stands out that bad. Uh, I think it adds a bit of value to the jersey. So yeah, be okay. Looks nice. Wouldn't mind one. Uh, number two. Jaguares, ah uh, man, those guys always make good jerseys. It's not that easy to make, it, like green is a hard color, but orange I think is equally a pretty difficult color to pull off. But they've done it in that jersey. Uh, they are the only guys to have Nike as their kit manufacturer and they really do a good job. There is kind of a pattern across the uh, across the chest. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be leopard spots or Jaguares spots or whatever it is, but uh, it's not real intrusive. You wouldn't notice it at a distance. The collar is slightly black. It just looks really sleek. And um, yeah, as I've said previously, those Nike jerseys, in terms of their feel, are, are really nice. So yeah, Hagwara's jerseys. Thinking about getting a new one, seeing as it's got a new logo, but there are still so many jerseys on the wish list that um, it might have to wait. But hey, uh, it certainly looks very nice. Uh, so that means number one, I have gone with the Lions. Uh, it is a black kit, which again, I said may be a bit of a theme with me. Um, yeah, I saw them play in this kit and I think it was when they came to Christchurch. And my first reaction, like I think I even tweeted about it because I was just like, man, that's a nice jersey. I really want that jersey. So yeah, like... The Lions had a really nice jersey, I think, in 2017, their home jersey. And this is uh, equal to that, if not better. Uh, it's black. It's got a pattern on it. It's pretty simple. Uh, I mean, maybe that pattern will, will look not as great. But I think for the most part, this jersey is not going to date that badly. Uh, none of the sponsors are all that intrusive. 
It's got red around the um, around the sleeves, which kind of matches them with their normal color scheme. But man, that's a nice, nice, nice jersey. Very nice. Wouldn't mind one, but hey, um, jerseys are fun. I like jerseys. I've got a few of them. Um, I got some ugly ones. I got some good ones. I don't really dislike any of these jerseys that much. Uh, I definitely have my own preferences, as will you. Uh, as I said, you guys let me know your thoughts on these jerseys. Which one did you think um, was the special one for you? Is it your own team's jersey or is it another team's jersey? I sometimes think I'm a bit hard on the blues because uh, they tend to lose a bit in their jersey, which maybe puts me off a little bit as well. But hey, that's just a, a recent thing. Anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you again soon. See you later.